So you may have heard out there, one, that if you have injection foam in your walls, you can't rewire anything. You may have also heard that it's extremely flammable. And maybe you've heard people talk about spray foam and injection foam as the same thing. Well, yes you can, no it isn't, and they're completely two different things. Let's talk about it. So let's first address wiring. Now we get comments all the time on our social media, probably from people who are not actually electricians, saying things like you better have your electrical in place or you can't run wires through it, things like that. It's so easy to fish wiring through retro foam injection foam. It is extremely soft, it's very pliable and easy to work with because it's not the hard rigid foams you might be thinking of. Now if you wanted to add a conduit inside your wall cavity for whatever reasons, yes that's a more invasive process, but the injection foam insulation will not hinder that in any way. It is very easy to fish wires through it. Now another common myth is that the injection foam is super flammable. I can understand this concern because it is a foam product and a lot of people don't understand the chemistry behind it and there can be a lot of red flags and yes, throughout history there has been foam insulations that have had some safety issues. Absolutely. Just like any other building material or piece of technology, it has progressed and become safer over time. In fact, the retro foam injection foam is class one fire rated. There would be no concern about having a flammable substance inside the wall. Remember, we do build houses with wood. If you have a house that's made out of wood, go down below and subscribe. So I want to address real quick, people confusing injection foam and spray foam insulation. These are two completely different materials, two completely different systems. They really are like apples and oranges. Spray foam, it yes, it is an A and a B type product where it gets mixed together and it's sprayed onto an open surface. You see it a lot with new construction. Whereas injection foam, totally different setup altogether. It's different mixing process, different proprietary ingredients, everything is different. And that is injected through a hose into a closed cavity, okay? And it needs a closed cavity to set up right and cure properly, whereas a spray foam can be sprayed onto any open surface and insulate that surface that way. So again, these are two very different products and retro foam injection foam is really designed and perfected for an enclosed cavity, such as an exterior wall. So if you want to learn even more about injection foam insulation, we have put together an in-depth guide that covers everything that you need to know. Please check out the link below so that you can educate yourself. This is the Professor Foam reminding you that building is a science.